Hello everyone, this is um, the review of 12.04, the new Ubuntu Precise Pangolin um, LTS, which is long term release. You can stay with this version for 4 or 5 years with updates, it's fully supported, long term release. Now let's look around, it's not uh, out yet and the official release is in two days but I did install it three days ago did some customizations um, I did a clean install this time this is um, a five years old laptop old hardware uh, Intel Pentium uh, dual core I think so let's uh, let's get around. So here you have the system settings and, uh, and displays. Now the system settings it has a little bit of um, of new stuff like the management service, um, like the privacy settings. Here it is. You can. Uh, choose to delete history from audio, presentation, video, mail, applications, a lot of stuff. So uh, it's very handy. Um, updates available, uh, startup applications, printers, and suspend logout, lock screen, shutdown. If you want to restart, just click shutdown and then restart from here. Um, the user indicator, clock, um, the sound menu, uh, you can control the sound and control rhythm box. I also installed Clementine, I prefer Clementine as uh, my music player. Um, now networking, battery, messaging menu, which has uh, the chat, empathy, uh, broadcast account, Gweber which I don't use, Mail, Thunderbird, and Ubuntu One. Here I did install the system monitor, which shows the net speed of uh, download, upload, and CPU. You can also add the RAM to, to monitor the RAM. Uh, it uses a script. I'll show you maybe later how, how this works. Um, and a little handy application I installed also it's um, Radio Tray to to listen to radios online. You can configure and add your own radios, copying the URL and uh, Qubit Torrent. Uh, I don't like transmission because it causes my my internet to to lag to disconnect. I don't know why, but I use Qubit Torrent for torrent application. Uh, this is the weather indicator. Here you have the launcher, you have the the dash home, um, the home folder. I installed Chromium inst uh, alongside Firefox, Thunderbird with the account of the emails and red, uh, Clementine, uh, Skype, Minitube, Qubit Torrent. Um, synaptic package manager which I use a lot more than a lot more than I use Ubuntu Software Center to be honest a YPPA manager which is a great little application because it, um, if you upgrade Ubuntu from the update manager without a clean install you have here a handy handy uh, thing which is re-enable working PPAs after up Ubuntu upgrade when you do the, um, the upgrade on Ubuntu it disables the third-party PPAs you had so after the upgrade you can use the YPPA manager and to re, um, re-add it the working PPAs in that version uh, my unity mm, you all know it by now it's um, it's a little app for configuring Unity. 
uh, from the launcher to the dash, panel, desktop, themes, fonts. By the way, the icon theme I use now is it's called FS icons. All right, I I did uh, change it. <laughs> Um, update manager, work pain, workspaces, works fine, no problem at all. Um, that's it. Let's look at the dash. The thing I love the most is um, you don't have to go to the dash and get, then go to the lens and then search for whatever you want. If you wanna search for videos, for example you right click on the dash go to videos and boom you are in the uh, in the open to videos in the um, in the video lens and you can you can search for whatever you want uh, firefox to see videos about firefox from my videos uh, youtube bing vimeo daily motion a lot of you can you can also customize it let's say you want just Bing videos and here it is you can click it and play it um, lenses we have the dash home which is which give you the last used applications and um, uh, the application lens where you can <coughs> uh, search for applications uh, games um, graphics, internet, so you have all your applications here. You can also expand the dash to go full screen, especially with the small screen laptops. Um, that's it, that's the dash. The, the quick list is very handy. And in general, um, this release of Ubuntu is very fast compared to 11.10 or um, any other Ubuntu um, release. It's very fast. Even this five years old um, uh, laptop, it's almost instantaneous. The the opening of Nautilus, the Minikube, one, two, three, and boom. It's it's pretty fast. The fastest I had in this on on this laptop and this hardware. So it's very fast. Another thing which is a lot you know positive is the uh, display, the multi monitor support. Uh, in the previous versions. Right from three years ago, I had always problems with uh, dual monitors. You know, you put the screen on and the screen flickers, and then you need to log out and log in to make it work. Or when you when you plug the the cable out, it doesn't restore to the laptop screen. It just stays blank, and many many problems I had. On this version, I've tried it all not a single problem. There's no problems at all with um, the multi-monitor support um, and plus you have a launcher placement you can place the launcher on both screens if you have two or three in on every screen put the launcher on or just in one and you can choose which one um, just perfect. This time they they nailed it. No no problems at all with the uh, dual monitor uh, support, especially if you have an Intel uh, chip. So um, that's it in general. Oh, I I need to show you the this thing. I need to control everything and see it all the time. That's why I have the CPU and the and the thingy here the net monitor so uh, i have a script uh, i'm i'm going to put also a link where you can uh, download the script and download the app and make it work all together but here it goes this is man this is the script and you can change it what for whatever you like but you know you, uh, you can change just one word and then you can customize it 
so uh, here net speed true CPU true and RAM false if you want all f three of them so just type uh, true on the RAM and save it and the RAM monitor will pop up now here it is so memory 24% CPU and upload download um, what else I could say um, uh, here in the desktop background you can change the background the icon size launcher the, la the launcher icon size um, I have it at 32 because it's the, the smallest I don't need it so big uh, behavior you can auto hide the launcher um, and reveal it on the left or top left corner um, and the sensitivity of the reveal so you have a lot of customizations it's not uh, perfect because nothing is perfect but it's the the most perfect Ubuntu yet uh, with unity so just try it try it if you don't like unity you will be surprised of the speed of the new features um, my 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 advice is to to use it for one week just use it customize it um, the way you like and then use it um, uh, that's it what I did have to say also um, nothing that's it it's pretty decent release um, the best not decent the best so far so just go ahead and you must upgrade it's an LTS you must upgrade so upgrade as soon as possible that's my advice um, alright that's concluding the 1204 first view first review and that's it I will see you also later with more uh, in-depth review or uh, app reviews for 11 for Ubuntu 12.04 oh my god I better close it now bye bye